We're asked to write 24 eighteenths in lowest terms and express the answer as an improper fraction. So we'll express the answer as an improper fraction, but we'll also review how to write an improper fraction as a mixed number. A fraction is written in lowest terms or simplified when the only common factor between the numerator and denominator is one. So 24 eighteenths is not in lowest terms because 24 and 18 share common factors other than one. So if we can look at 24 and 18 and recognize that the greatest common factor is six, we can quickly write this fraction in lowest terms by dividing the numerator and denominator by six. Remember when we divide or multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number, we get an equivalent fraction. So 24 divided by six equals four and 18 divided by six equals three. Notice the only common factor between four and three is one, and therefore, we now have the fraction in lowest terms. Now, if we don't recognize six is the greatest common factor, but we recognize that two is a common factor of 24 and 18, we can still use this division method, but it will take more than one step. So for example, beginning with 24 eighteenths, if we divide the numerator and denominator by two, we'd have the equivalent fraction 12 over nine, because 24 divided by two is 12, and 18 divided by two is nine. But 12 and nine still share a common factor of three, and therefore 12 ninths is not in lowest terms. So now we have to divide the numerator and denominator by three. And notice how now the fraction will be in lowest terms. 12 divided by three is four, and nine divided by three is three. Another way to write the fraction in lowest terms would be to look at the prime factorization of both 24 and 18. This is helpful if we have a difficult time determining common factors between 24 and 18. So let's show how to simplify this using prime factors as well. We begin by determining the prime factorization of 24 and then the prime factorization of 18. 24 is equal to three times eight where three is prime. Eight is equal to four times two, two is prime, and four equals two times two, both are prime. 18 is equal to two times nine, two is prime, and nine equals three times three, which are both prime. So we can write 24 as two times two times two times three, and 18 as two times three times three. The nice thing about the prime factorization method is that we can actually see all the common prime factors. Notice 24 and 18 share a common factor of two, as well as a common factor of three. And because two over two is equal to two halves or two divided by two, which equals one, two over two simplifies to one over one. And because three over three, which equals three halves or three divided by three equals one, three over three also simplifies to one over one. Now that we've simplified, notice the numerator is two times two or four, and the denominator is just three. So there are several ways to write the fraction in lowest terms. So we're actually done with this question. Let's also review how to write four thirds as a mixed number. And the steps are outlined here, but the main thing to remember is that a fraction bar means division. So we can write four thirds as four divided by three. And now we divide, there's one, three, and four. One times three is three, and we subtract. Four minus three equals one. So this tells us that four thirds is equal to one whole from the quotient, and then to form the fraction part of the mixed number, we write the remainder over the divisional denominator, which is also the divisor. So four thirds equals one and one third. I hope you found this helpful.